Hi, I'm Mark Frazier. Exploring wildlife right in our own backyard is the best way to learn to appreciate them and therefore protect them. You're invited to join me on the exciting wildlife adventures. Welcome to Nature Works. motion-activated camera gives us a glimpse into the secret world of the forest. This raccoon's an amazing climber. It turned out there was a den about 50 feet up this tree, so each day and night he would go up and down the same spot. In a thick morning fog, a family of crows alert us to a koi wolf, one of our local coyote wolf hybrids. Listen carefully. You can hear a koi wolf in the distance. It's amazing to be able to spy on wildlife like this, but sometimes the wildlife can spy right back. Now the audio on these motion sensor cameras isn't the greatest and you can often hear the sound of the clanking gears inside the camera. But they are said to be silent for wildlife but as we see from a lot of deer and the way they behave, I don't think so. I think that the animals are very much aware of them. Notice how she reacts to the camera. Now I don't know if she's smelling my scent or hearing the camera activate or perhaps both. In the distance through the forest, you can actually hear the volunteer fire department bullhorn. Now this is interesting. Every now and then, koi wolves will actually respond to it and start to howl back. It's absolutely fantastic to watch this beautiful doe along with her two fawns graze along the forest floor. They've already lost their spots and they look like many versions of their mom. The motion camera's night vision reflects off their dilated pupils. This makes them appear as if they have headlamps. Moose, on the other hand, have very little eye shine. So you need to be really careful when you're driving in the North Country roads, especially in the fall. Now I can hear the background of the gears in this audio. They don't seem to care. I'm not sure if it's because the camera's been out for a while and they no longer pay attention to it, or it's just because we hear it louder than they do. Along the same path, a small coyote picks up a scent and follows it along. Then he hurries off into the night. Predators like the coyotes, koi wolf, the fox, a lot of these species are actually great indicators about the health of an ecosystem. You see, to have a predator, there must be enough prey. So it's a really good sign when you see these predators along the forest. Up in the higher elevations of the North Country, spring can come late. A surprise snowstorm makes us feel like we're right back into winter. I actually love it when that happens. That means we can find fresh wildlife prints and see what's exploring the entire forest, not just the spot where the camera is. Most of the small branches from about three and a half feet down suffer the same fate as my newly planted apple trees. <laughs> so apparently the deers love to feed in that area. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense because it's above the snow line. 
Studies by biologists have shown that areas where deer don't graze are completely different. They actually affect the entire ecosystem by the way they constantly move along and graze. So when we have predators, that keeps the deer moving and actually helps the forest. Really interesting phenomena. So it's been an amazing time peeking into the secret world of what wildlife are doing right in our own backyards. The incredible thing about wildlife is the closer you look, the more you find. Thank you so much for joining me on this nature walk. I'm Mark Frazier and I'll see you again very soon.